Nina. I see Ariel. We're going to see Ariel. Ariel. Oh my goodness, we're going on the Because people got 
burnt out and the parks got really busy because of the Star Wars event. So the last part of the day was a little bit of a fail. This morning started out not so great. <laughs> it took us like two hours to get out the door. We didn't make it for rope drop. We got here at nine o'clock and then realized that we had forgotten the diaper bag. And so I went back to the hotel with Declan and grabbed the diaper bag and then missed the other shuttle coming back. So I had to wait. I waited until 10.30 before I finally was able to come back. Just got back. Patrick and Serena have been hanging out. She got to meet Pluto. Got a picture with Pluto. She and, and Daddy have been riding Little Mermaid and Mater nonstop. They're, I'm, I'm looking over here because I'm trying to see if I can see them. We're right outside the Mater ride. Today, uh, the rest of the family is kind of taking it a little bit slower today so Patrick and I are letting this morning like this first part of the day kind of be a little bit more about Serena she loves it here she's obsessed and that makes my heart really happy um, but she has had hasn't really had a lot of time dedicated to her to be able to do the things that she can do so that's kind of what we're gonna try and make today about. We're also gonna try and do World of Color, which I'm glad I'm talking about that because that just reminded me. We have to get in for the virtual queue for World of Color. So it's our Star Wars day, our Star Wars theme. So I'm, well, cause it is Star Wars day. It's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. So we're kind of wearing our Star Wars theme. Not his hat, but he's got a little Grogu shirt on. Serena's got Grogu, Patrick's got all the Star Wars characters on his shirt. So that's kind of what we're doing today. Felt like I needed to do a check-in. I kind of got little clips here and there on my phone yesterday because I was spending yesterday trying to get batteries charged. So I got a little bit on my phone yesterday but haven't really checked in officially much on the vlogging camera. So here we are. We're on day three out of five for us. Everybody else's last day is on Thursday, tomorrow, but we still have until Friday. Let's get this day going. Spotted Patrick. He's right up there, right behind, right there in the sunglasses. So we'll watch and see when they get on. <laughs> Serena, is that your favorite ride? Is that fun? Okay. Too I go good. again. Are you ready? ready? Here we go. I'm told 
sit-down restaurants are pretty accommodating for food allergies. The quick stand places, on the other hand, are much more difficult because it's mostly like pre-made things. So they don't have like pre-made gluten-free pretzels or pre-made dairy-free ice cream. So <laughs> those are like the two things that I've been craving. I've been really wanting a Mickey pretzel. Can't have a Mickey pretzel. I've been really wanting something like creamy and with like ice cream and I can't have it. <laughs> I guess. I, I did get to have a Dole Whip. I can have Dole Whip. That is gluten and dairy free. So I have this interesting um, smoothie that I just got from Schmoozies here at California Adventure. And uh, it is definitely different from what I would typically get. It's more of like a, how would you describe this? I'm not very good at describing flavors. It's just, it's just not what I'm used to. It's like mango, chili, lime, banana. It's good, it's not like it's, I don't feel like I wasted my money, but it's just different. I'm not used to it, <laughs> this kind of taste. So I'm on a little bit of the struggle bus okay, where like snack, food items are concerned. Heading back over to Disneyland to meet up with the rest of the gang. I think kiddos are finally, well, Declan's been asleep for a while now. Serena's finally falling asleep. We got some rider swap passes for Indiana Jones, which I have been waiting for three days now to do. Really looking forward to finally doing that ride. And then, I don't know what we're gonna do. The, they talked about doing uh, jungle Cruise after that, but now our kids are asleep and that's a ride we want to be able to take them on. So I don't know what we're going to do while we wait for them to wake up, but heading back over to Disneyland to get on Indiana Jones. Right, Seth? I don't know. <laughs> I thought I did it right last time. Apparently people told me I did it wrong. Apparently a bunch of stuff wasn't working when he went on it last time, so hopefully, hopefully it all works this time. Yeah, you can see like that's supposed to come down. They're like shifting now because it's like barely, barely still held up. That's the only thing holding it up. <laughs> If I'm scared and I'm like, I know I'm about to get scared, I'll be like, ah! and I'll do that. But if I actually got scared, I go, oh! like it's a, it's a less, like, ah! this is so fun, and more like, I was about to fight someone. Like, fight or flight mode. Fight or flight mode. I'll go back. So the nice thing about getting the rider swap is we kind of get to have a taste of what the lightning lane, like the Genie Plus is like, without having to pay for it. And we can determine if it's actually worth spending the money. We haven't used it up to this point because I've heard not great things about it. I've heard that it's not that worth it. So it's nice we get to kind of test it out. Can you free? Can you write her stuff? No, oh my friend! How the break you may be needing of it? Seth, don't kill us! I won't, I won't! You have chosen life. This path leads to timeless youth and
Okay, so now in comparison to the last time you wrote it. Especially because you actually drove really fast through that thing and it felt like something was being thrown at your head. Nice. <laughs> that was cool. Way better when it works. Yes. Way, way better when it works. I mean, if nobody told me anything, I would have been like, oh, I thought something was supposed to happen. I guess not. I wouldn't really thought of much of it. But this time now that I know what happened, I get why everyone's like, oh, that sucks. You missed the boulder. <laughs> I'm so happy that at least the boulder worked. Yeah. Did, did the boulder but everything. I think everything did. Time. I think everything did work for you. I didn't remember that the snake hasn't been pouncing at you for a while. I didn't. I thought it still did that, but if, I guess it. Right after the fire was a so big red light, red light, and then it went, <laughs> and that scared me too. <laughs> so we saved about 20 minutes going through the lightning lane. <laughs> Standby was 55. We got through in 31. So, I don't know that I would spend 20 bucks a person for that though. I mean, this is just one ride. Depends on the end of the day, I guess. How much you save, right? Yeah. Oh, 
spicy candy. Let's put it on your tongue. Let it melt. You like it? You only have one. <laughs> We could go over to California Adventure for another couple hours, but we've got a character breakfast tomorrow morning. So we decided we're just gonna head back, call it early tonight, because we've got two days left to stay until the park closed and uh, come back for character breakfast tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Serena's gonna get to meet a lot of characters and it's gonna be good. We'll see you in the morning for breakfast. Right, babe? Lovely. We're excited for breakfast. Night night! Yeah, um, yeah, we're not going over to California Adventure. That's, uh, that is insane. That's everyone who just got kicked out of Disneyland because of the event. No. There's a whole lot more coming. Oh yeah, there's still more people coming out. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna call it. <laughs> Yikes.